Welcome to another Reigns High School Wildcat Legends broadcast. Sports, events, and what it means to be a mighty Wildcat. Hey guys, what's up? A.A. Ron here with Wildcat Legends. We have another great story for you this week. First story of the day, we're heading over to the theater land to see what's going on with our very own Mr. Lance. Hey Wildcats, Carson Woman here with the one and only Mr. Lance. We're Right now we're on set of It's a Wonderful Life, so real quickly for our student body, can you give them a little bit of a rundown for this play? Yes, this is going to be a phenomenal Christmas-themed play. And it's going to be on December the 17th is our opening night at uh, 7 o'clock. And then the 18th is also going to be at 7. Tickets are $5 a piece. But here is the thing you need to know. Half of everything we make on our ticket sales is going to go to the Good Samaritans here in Rains County. So we want to give back to the community with this drama production of It's a Wonderful Life. Awesome. And real quickly, how are you feeling about this upcoming play? So far, it is stupendous. I am so thankful for all of my wonderful actors and actresses and everything that they're doing every day and bringing to the table. All of my crew is doing wonderful with all the lighting and all the sound and everything that's going on. And we're going at a pretty fast pace. I mean, I know we, we just have about a month and a half until we get to the night of the production. But so far, it has been smooth sailing. And, uh, of course... Uh, Carson over here happens to be in the play. Who are you playing in this? <laughs> You're the interviewer now. Um, <laughs> I, I'm playing uh, Harry Bailey, which is the lead's uh, little brother. And I'm also playing Mr. Carter, which is a bank examiner. Absolutely. And Carson is doing a wonderful job. So, I'm blushing. Yes, absolutely. So please, please, please um, stop by Drama. We're going to start selling tickets in about two weeks. They're $5 a piece. And pick you up tickets for your whole family so we can give back to the community and you can have a good time while doing it. That sounds really great to me. I can't wait to be in the show. I can't wait to see the recordings of it. I can't wait to see the faces on friends and family while I perform it as well. This is all the time I have for you. Thank you so much. Ciao. Next we headed over to the art room with Miss Maddie to see what was going on in there. Hey well cats Carson Woman here with Miss Maddie and real quick we're gonna do an art check in to see what they're up to. So, what project are you on right now? So, my art two and three class is starting their self-portraits. We've been working with oil pastel and soft pastel, so they're able to choose which one they want to use. Um, the portrait is uh, supposed to be in foreshortening, and what foreshortening is is when something appears larger in the forefront, and then everything else is real small in the background. So, we're starting. Um, they're starting their grid today. Okay, we always like to grid to make sure that everything's accurate. I've done an example, and then tomorrow they'll start their outlines. Awesome. And uh, how long do you see this project going on for? Uh, two weeks. I'm going to give them this week uh, to grid and do the outlines, and next week they will start actually using the pastels. It's going to be due right before we go to break for Thanksgiving. Great. So can we expect to see some of these projects displayed in the hallway? Oh, yeah, definitely. Awesome. I'll, I'll display them. Um, the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> the good ones. Yeah, I'll display them in the library so everybody can see. Well, this is all really good information. That's all the time I have for you today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, we headed over to Ag with Mr. Fisher to see what was going on on a project in welding. Hey, Wildcats. Carson Wellman here with the Wildcat Broadcast. And today I have Mr. Fisher himself, and we're going to see a little bit into his welding class. So how has welding been going this year? Uh, welding's going great. We've got the uh, intro classes with stick welding. They've started that in the, I guess, last week and a half. They've already gone through using a cutting torch, learning to how, how to do that. And we'll see how stick welding goes. Awesome. So what are some more projects they have planned for the future? All right, some projects we have that we just got done with. We've got a picnic table, a bench, a small smoker, and a Texas table that we'll be putting online to auction off here in a couple days. Then we've got a gooseneck trailer. We have a smoker trailer being built, uh, working on a small welding trailer, and also some other little benches that we're working on. Awesome, that sounds great. So what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna quit rolling here, and we're gonna uh, go and look around and showcase some of these awesome projects. Well, we just got back from our uh, quarantine, so we have to continue recording. 
And last but not least, Carson went into the sports world to see what was up with football, volleyball, and cross country. Hello, hello. I'm standing here with Ben Gudger. And quickly, Ben, how are you doing during your cross country season? Uh, well, this season has been quite a roller coaster. We've had injuries here and there. We've had some people miss. We've had uh, just all over the place. But overall, we've had a pretty good season so far. And so a lot of these kids that are coming up are underclassmen. I'm really excited to see how they're going to perform because now we're, our seniors are kind of passing the baton on to them. Yeah. So. so how far have you made it uh, so far this season? Uh, so I placed in regionals. I got ninth. Great. So at about 125 runners or so. And so I was the only one who uh, placed. So we'll be going to Round Rock, Texas. 23rd, that's a Monday, and uh, yeah, right near, near Austin. Round and around. that's your state meet, right? Yes, uh, state meet. Awesome. And quickly, what do you want to say to those aspiring cross-country runners you were just talking about? Yeah, well, hey, if you ever, I mean, I know I'm going to be gone next year, but it's really about taking those people who are so much better than you, and don't take jealousy over it. Just say, hey, man, you're so much better than I am. Can I just, like, run with you, or is it right if I train with you? Find those people you look up to. And run with them or it's running is like one of the most difficult sports you ever do and to become a good runner is like the hardest thing you can ever do in sports and athletics and so work with your coaches work you know we have bleachers out there on the football yeah. field you know whatever you can do but I would say about that awesome that sounds Look great up that's the all other, the time I have for you today. Other, thank yeah, you upperclassmen thank you Hey Wildcats, I'm here with one of our star football players Mr. Balthrop and quickly I'm asking for him to sum up this football season yeah, this football season was pretty good. We did very a lot of good things, but some bad things. But we were a number one in the state in a lot of good categories that most people didn't think. But we had a good season. We fought hard, and it's sad that we're not in it, but we had fought against a lot of good teams. Yeah, and quickly, how did that win feel last Friday night? Oh, it felt good. <laughs> really felt good. good. Much needed. Awesome. That's all the time for I, I have for you today. All right, see. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Wildcat Legends. We hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe down below. We'll see you in the next one.